Let's explore Databricks. If you don't have an account, create one using Databricks Community Edition and start exploring. In Databricks, you can read data from delta tables, apply a series of transformations like filtering, group by, order by. Then you will have a resulting data frame, which you can save to a delta table. Once it is saved, this can be accessed by other applications. We can also query the delta table using Spark. Let's first explore Databricks' own SQL interface and then check how time travel works. Databricks SQL is a SQL interface provided by Databricks. It allows users to run SQL queries on delta tables or external tables. It also provides features such as caching, indexing, and optimization to improve query performance. Let's open the Python notebook we created earlier. Under Workspace, you can find any of the notebooks created earlier. It says no cluster is attached because the older one has terminated. We can attach this notebook to the new cluster that is currently running. Let's rerun this notebook by pressing Shift Enter. We'll name it Python SQL. Now we have run it up to the point where it creates the ordered data frame. Let's now store this order DF in a delta table. We'll call this table Clarity Effect Skills and use the data frame write command with mode override. If there is any existing table, it would overwrite the data. The format is delta, though delta is the default format in Databricks. We will explicitly use the format. Let's run this and create the table. This has been executed successfully. Let's go to the Data tab. Here, we can see the new table, Clarity Effect Skills. When we click on it, it should show the schema and sample records. Let's go back to the notebook. Now we can interact with this table using the Spark SQL library. Let's do a simple select star from default, table name. And if we do df.show, we should be able to see the content. This is one way to access the delta table. We can also use Databricks SQL interface to interact with the table. There are two ways to work with SQL. Either select SQL here and write a query, or use the magic command SQL. The default database name is optional. And even if we remove that, it should still work. The other option is to create a SQL notebook. By selecting SQL option while creating a notebook, all cells are by default SQL. If we write the same command select tor from table, we can get the output in a separate notebook.
Let's try out more SQL commands and explore Databricks SQL. Let's try the Describe History command with the table name. It would give the entire history of the delta table and what operations were performed. We can see the version of the table. The Describe History command is used to view changes made to a delta table. It shows the audit trail, including operations like delete, update, and insert, along with who performed them and when. This command is useful for auditing, debugging, and data lineage. Let's insert more records into this table. One entry is for the create operation and the other for the write operation. We can also see the append operation details in the dataset. Let's now try an update operation. We'll update the clarity value to FX scales, where clarity is C2. This time, the operation was an update. We can see that there's a new version, version 2. The delta table stores data for each version in separate parquet files. These files are found under the Hive Warehouse directory in Databricks. You can see the directories for each table. Let's look at the contents of the directory for the Clarity Effect Skills table. You have to use the sentfs magic command. Without the magic command, it would assume it's a Python command. We can now see different parquet files for each version. There is also an audit log where Delta Table maintains the audit trail. Let's see how to query the previous version of the data. We'll do select star from this table. This shows 16 records, and the clarity value in the first record is FX scales. Two records were updated, including the first one. Let's go to the version before the update, where the value was C2. First, we need the timestamp of the previous version. We can get that by running the describe history command again. While querying, we can specify this timestamp. This shows the previous version where the value was C2 and 16 records were present. If we go further back to the first version, we should see only eight records. This is how we can time travel to the previous version of a Delta table.
Time travel is a feature of Databricks Delta Table that allows you to access previous versions of a table. You can view data as it existed at any point in time. With time travel, you can perform time-based queries, comparisons, and recover data from accidental deletion. You can also view the history of changes to a table. We can also query by specifying the version number. Here we can specify the version using at and then the version number like v0, v1, or v2. Let's first query version v0. If we query v1, it shows the second version where we had 16 records. We can see that the second version has 16 records with a few updates, including the first row. We can also restore a table to a previous version using the restore command. You just need to specify the table name and the version number to restore it to. Currently we are at version 2. Let's restore it to version 1. It's done. Let's do select star from the table again. We don't have the updated value in the first record now. Let's also run the history command again. We can see a new version, version 3, which is the restored version. The old version, version 2, is still available. If we want, we can restore back to that version. This is how you can maintain different versions in a delta table, time travel when needed, and restore from previous versions if necessary. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more informative content on cloud, data, AI, and generative AI. Hit the bell icon to receive future notifications. Check out our popular Udemy course on Big Data, Hadoop, and Spark linked in the description.